Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Abercrombie try on styling haul video. So if you guys are not new to my channel then you know I post one of these probably every single month at this point for a while now. If you guys are new, please go ahead and take a minute to hit that subscribe button. I post a lot of try on styling haul videos um, throughout the month as well as daily vlogs and stuff like that. So would love to have you guys join the fam, but let's go ahead and get started. You guys, this is probably the last like, honestly, it's not even that wintry. This is more of like a spring sort of haul, you guys. They are launching so much cute stuff for the spring. I don't know about you guys, when I start seeing spring clothes, I'm just like, I wanna go on vacation. Let's let's go to Mexico. <laughs> um, so I got some really cute pieces, a couple of duds, but nonetheless, you know the drill. I'm gonna share with you all of them. I'm going to show you some different ways that I would style the pieces. I like to do this for myself to make sure that these pieces are fitting well in my wardrobe with pieces that I already own. Um, that's kind of what I look for when I'm looking at pieces, whether they're gonna stay or they're gonna go. How many different ways can I style them with stuff that I already have in my wardrobe? Um, or do I need to bring in different stuff from my wardrobe? But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I got quite a bit of things. Um, yeah, the first item is this sweater. You guys, I saw a sweater like this from Zara maybe like a year or two years ago and I didn't pick it up and I regretted it every single minute since then. Y'all know I love this sort of like lapel style collar. I think I have two other sweaters like this, but I don't have them in light. I have it in a navy and then a black. I love this white stripe. They have other colors though because I feel like it is such a good like spring, summertime, transitional sort of piece. I know sweater, summer, I get it, weird, but you can style this so many different ways, like with jeans, with joggers, with shorts. It's just such a versatile piece. Um, I think this is so cute. I love it, how it's like slightly cropped, but not super cropped. Um, I love the little slit detail in the sleeve as well as on the side. I think it's just cute and adds some really cute touches. This is really nice quality. I think the stripes are black and not navy, but I feel like with this sort of stuff, it's just, I don't know, anything with white and stripes just really reminds me of like nautical spring summertime situation. So. Such a great transition piece into the spring. I know we're still in February, but you know, once February is over, March is like we have daily savings time and I'm just ready, I'm ready for summer at that point. All right, you guys, so some of my favorite items to get from Abercrombie are their jeans. I think they just do jeans really well, um, but I always struggle with sizing and that's why I'm here to share with you guys um, like how they fit on me compared to what I normally order. So I'm a true, true, true 26 in most jeans, but with Abercrombie, I tend to go to a 25 sometimes and just sometimes they're great and sometimes they're too snug. And I have a pair of um, 90s st straight or slim, whatever they are, um, that I love from them and they're a 25 regular. And I noticed when I washed them, they shrunk up quite a bit. And so I was like, let me just try longs. Y'all, these are too long. So I should have gone with a 25 regular in most of these, but you'll see that they're a bit long. I tried to kind of like cuff them at the bottom. But if you're planning to wear jeans with heels, then you might wanna go up too long. I just wanted to play around with it and see. I'm always looking for the perfect size and length. And I think jeans, it just differs. No matter what the brand is, it always just differs. And I feel like Abercrombie is just, they run a bit big, I don't know, a little bit big. But nonetheless, I love these jeans. So these are the Slim Straight Ultra High Rise. So super cute, love the just one single rip in the knee. These are fit more of like a traditional like skinny jean. I don't know if y'all remember when they used to have like super skinny, jegging, and then skinny jean. These remind me of a skinny jean. They don't necessarily remind me of like a Slim Straight maybe a little, um, they do come down at the bottom, but that's a pretty like, I don't know. I have their slim straight jeans and these, or I have their straight jag, like I would say the leg fit on this is closer to a skinny fit all the way down. Nonetheless, I love the fit of these jeans and I love the coloring of these. They're just a bit too long for me. I would need to get these in a regular and not a long, um, but these are literally probably like, I don't know if you're, if you've hesitated with getting on like the nineties slim, 
slim or, or 90s straight or like the mom jeans or whatever and you're just like I love my skinny jeans too much try these guys I think these are like a happy medium for people that they're a little bit looser and comfier the waistline is just so good um but they're not as like baggy and oversized so give those a go you can wear them with heels you can wear them with sneakers love those but again I will be exchanging them for a regular I grabbed this and I just, when I saw this, I was like, this is such a good basic. I could throw this on with leggings to the gym, like as like a over cover. You can dress this up with a pair of jeans, not dress it up. Make it more casual with a pair of jeans and sneakers. I love this. This is a waffle sort of, um, not sort of, it's a waffle long sleeve shirt in gray. This thing is so freaking buttery soft. I think I need more colors. It's oversized, it's not oversized, it's like, long so you can wear it with leggings but it's like the perfect I don't know it's perfect length it's not too big but it's flattering I I just love this top I cannot say enough good things about this you can wear this in so many different ways styled so many different ways and yeah I love it it's a great basic happy to have it in my collection all right y'all this next piece that I grabbed is a little graphic tee I love graphic tees i am so happy they're back i feel like people have mixed feelings about graphic tees they're either like you don't listen to that band that's not real or whatever i don't care i love the versatility of a graphic tee you can wear it with sweatpants you can wear it with leggings you can wear it with leather pants with jeans a leather jacket heels sneakers like anything i love it so i grabbed this one i just thought it was really cute the little woodstock so soft very very oversized you guys i got this in a small it did say it was oversized but like i probably could have gone down to an extra small to be honest with you but i love the versatility of this piece and i show you so many different ways that i style it um to just kind of show you that it can be a super super casual daytime look but you can also amp it up to do like a not i wouldn't say like a fancy night out by any means but like drinks or wine or i don't know i just think super cute absolutely love a basic um graphic tee i feel like you cannot go wrong and abercrombies they're just soft they wear super well um i've had band tees from abercrombie for years now i actually just put some up on my posh marks so if you're interested in grabbing some graphic band tees that are significantly less expensive go ahead and check out my Poshmark I will link it down below um, I tend to kind of cycle through my wardrobe and I put my clothes there so if you're interested go ahead and check it out all right the next pair of jeans that I grabbed are the 70s vintage flare ultra high rise again got these in a long do not need a long moral of the story I'm not tall but I was just trying to see what the difference between the regular and the the longs were and honestly these are just too long they give me that like fold over no matter what um with my jeans or anything like that they're they fit really nice i really enjoy them these are a bit snug though i would say with the 25s so the other jeans that i got in the 25s were completely perfect but i would say i could even size up in these and go with a regular um because they're not as like they're stretchy but they're like I feel like the 70s is meant to look really tight on the legs and then kind of just like bow out a little bit. They're not insanely flared, I would say. They kind of are very similar to the um, 90s straight legs that I have. Um, not the slim straight, but the, the regular. Uh, but yeah, I enjoy them. I wanted to see a flare pair of jeans because I haven't worn a flare pair of jeans since, I don't know, maybe like college, high school. I'm that old, yes. But I wanted to see, and they're really flattering. The length is just too long on me but flare jeans are like really really flattering on a lot of people because they cinch you in at the smallest part and then like kind of make you go wide towards the bottom with heels so pretty bodysuit t-shirt anything classic classic look happy they're coming back into style all right this next piece is just such a basic staple that i can't believe i don't have in my wardrobe i have a ton of bodysuits in my wardrobe but i do not have a square neck black bodysuit in my collection. I have a tank top, but not a long sleeve. The best thing about this is it's double lined. So it's thick, it's like, not thick in a bad way, but it's buttery soft and it's like, actually has some weight to it. So I feel like it sucks you in, holds you in and does, does good things. I don't know, I love it. It is a thong style bodysuit in the back with two buttons, um, but the square neckline is just super pretty, super flattering. And I love that it's double lined on the mids, like not on the sleeves, but in the like, you know, the body section. And I feel like that just helps suction everything in. Abercrombie's bodysuits, 
run, don't walk. They're so good, I swear. All right, I tried another pair of jeans and these are the 90s straight ultra high rise. And y'all, I don't think I love these. You'll have to sound off in the comments. I like the color. I like everything about the fit of them, except I don't, I also got these in a long, which I don't need. Um, I don't love this part of the bottom. Like, I feel like it's just too, too much, too casual of a pair of jeans. Like I wanted it to be nicer and I feel like that big of a slit and everything just kind of gives it more of like a grungy look. Now, if that's what you're going for, cool. But I just felt like these just kind of missed the mark for me. Um, but I overall, I love the 90s straight, just not that um, rip style personally. All right, y'all, I grabbed another bodysuit. This one had been calling my name for a while. Um, it is a white long sleeve ribbed bodysuit and ribbed anything just looks so good. And I love this like scuba sort of zip part in the front. I don't know, it's super cute. I feel like you can dress this up, you can dress this down. It's just a great basic and I love how like flattering it is. It's just like, I don't know, you could zip it all the way up if you want, but it gives you good, makes the girls look good, cinches you in, looks great with a pair of jeans. Love a basic white ribbed bodysuit. And that one's really good quality. Okay, I stepped out of my box with this top a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not normally like a super floral pattern sort of girl or like a colorful sort of girl, but I mean, it's spring and I think we all get into a little bit more color in the spring. I love the fit of this top. I love how sweet the little like sleeves are with the bow. Love the good square neckline. The um, stretchiness on the sleeves make sure that it fits so perfectly. I didn't do the best job, but you can conceal it or you could wear no bra or a strapless bra. I love the little pleating detail up at the breast area. I think it's super pretty. It's got a bunch of stretchiness in the back, so it fits really well. And this is kind of like a cropped fit, um, but I like it. It still tucks into my jeans. I don't feel like I'm gonna like pop out or it's super uncomfortable. I think it's really flattering. And yeah, I honestly actually really love the color of this and the print of it. It's a little fun, but you can pair it with jeans for more of like a dressier look or a pair of white jeans that are a little looser and fit for a casual daytime look. And I think I'm gonna keep that guy. And then I grabbed this dress. This dress, when I saw the pattern, I was like, springtime wedding. I had to try it out and see what I thought about it. And it's really, really pretty, y'all. So this is their cowl neck um, like dress situation. There is no zipper to get in and out of this but that's okay because it's the perfect amount of like stretch that you can still get it on and you don't feel like it doesn't fit. It's so perfect. It's double lined. I love the little like strap that hangs off the shoulder. I think it's a really delicate, pretty look. The straps are adjustable so you can adjust them up or down, which is awesome. There's no major slit in the leg, which for more of like the fact that it's very open on top, I like that there's nothing at the bottom, but it's still roomy and you can walk in it perfectly fine. I just paired it with a pair of basic nude um, heels, but this is such a pretty springtime dress. If you have not checked out Abercrombie's like wedding dress, not wedding dress, like um, guest, wedding guest dress uh, section, you need to, it's amazing. If you guys want me to try more of those dresses and do like an exclusive like wedding dress, try on, or not wedding dress, wedding guest dress, try on from Abercrombie. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, and I would love to do that for you guys because I found some amazing pieces. And I just, I don't know about you guys, but I keep them in my wardrobe. So that way when these sort of things come up, I have something ready to go. And I'm not like scrambling to try to find something where I'm like, I hate it. I don't know about you guys. That is like my biggest pet peeve when I'm like, okay, I have this wedding now and I have nothing to wear and then you go to the store and it's like the wrong season or whatever the case may be and you just cannot find anything that you truly like and you end up spending way too much money on stuff and it doesn't get here in time or whatever. So moral of the story, if you see something you like, pick it up because honestly, you'll probably wear it. Okay, you're gonna need it, right? All right, so this last piece, I didn't even try on for you guys. It was that big of a fail. <laughs> like, I wanted to love this and it is a one piece. I can't even try it on because it is, it is not appropriate, okay? Um, not not appropriate, not flattering, not anything. Um, this The issue is, is there's no sort of like, I don't know, y'all, the model makes it look real good. It's a bathing suit, just steer steer clear from it. Don't, don't get it. I'm just, I don't know who it would look good on um, because even if you like, 
had boobs her more boobs than I did or no boobs this like side thing just kind of like flops over it's just not cute I love the pattern I wanted to love this swimsuit so much it was a fail and the review honestly of it was really terrible too but I hesitate with reviews because I'm like just because it doesn't work for somebody doesn't mean it won't work for somebody else but yeah, it was a fail. So that is everything that I recently picked up from Abercrombie. Again, if you like seeing these style of videos, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and let me know in the comments down below if there's any other brands that you want to see videos like this. I do a bunch of different ones on my channel. Okay, and like always, you guys, I love y'all's feedback. So sound off in the comments down below what you think I should keep, what you think should go. Um, I think I was pretty clear with what I think, but I always love your guys' feedback and opinions. It just helps so much. And then if there's any other brands that you want to see this style video with let me know as well in the comments down below I have a Shein one coming very very soon um, because y'all have requested it so much so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video bye you guys